Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILD authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about application route methods. If I back to editor, so inside the last video, we have seen the great detailed concept about Cedar, how to create Cedar, and why we use it inside application. Now this time, we'll discuss about route methods that we'll use inside this API development course. So if I back to slide, let's open a new tab. So inside our application, we have several methods available on the basis of that we can perform our route calling process. For example, we have get method to complete our get request. We have post method to complete post request method. Next we'll have called put method or patch method. And finally, we'll have call delete method. So when we use these methods, for example, let's say that we are creating an API. By the help of that, we will list all the students what we have inside our table. So for that, we'll use get request type. Now next, we have post method. So when we use post method, for example, let's say that we are going to save some student data inside our database. So while calling that API, we will send some data. So while sending those data, we will use post request type. So the name suggests that we are going to post some, some student data or some data to our API. Now here we have put method and batch method. So by the help of these methods, actually we operate our update operation. For example, let's say that on the basis of a student ID, if we want to update the existing information, so those APIs will be called either by using put method type or patch method type. And finally, here we have delete method. So this method will be called when we delete any resource from database. For example, if we want to delete our existing data by the help of some specific ID, so on the basis of that, we'll use delete request method. So let's see in action about all these methods. Go back to editor. So what I will do, I will open a controller and let's say sites.php. So in the previous video, we had done all the code of model methods. So I will remove all those methods here. And one by one, we will understand about each method of our routes. So here, let's say that public function, I will create our first method that is list students. And the role of this method is to list all students from database. So the main role of this method is to list all the data. So while calling this method, we will use get request type. So here, method equals to get request type and for the time being let's type a static message here or let's say that echo json encode array here and inside that let's say status equals to true and message let's say that list api called save these changes so here we have our first method and put a semicolon here so here we have first method which we call using get request type now let's create another method here so public function this will be let's say save a student and by the help of this method actually inside this method we will accept all the data it means student data like name email and phone by the help of those data actually we can create our student data so here inside this method we will receive some data so in this case while calling this method we'll use post request type so this is only the demonstration video where we are trying to understand about the method types and how to use inside methods so here this is all about let's say that post data to database and in this case we'll use post request type so for the time being i will put a static message here so status equals to true let's say save a student 
API gets called. Now next, we will create one more method, public function. Let's say update the student. In this case, we will receive two types of data. First, like student ID and second, all about the updated data. So by the help of this method, actually we are going to update the existing data inside database. So this method or such type of method will be called using put request type or patch request type. So here, let's say that update data of database. Now this time we'll use method equals to either put method or patch method. So for the time being, I will write this static message. So here status equals to true and let's say update student API call. Now finally we'll create one more method for delete student. So delete student and by the help of these methods actually we can delete a specific student from database. So here inside this method, we'll receive student ID or any of the ID conditions. On the basis of that, we can delete our data from table. So what I will do, I will put this static message here as well. So this will be delete student API gets called and here, let's say delete student from database and for such type of APIs, we will call using delete method type. Now in the next step, we need to create our API routes. By the help of those routes, actually we can call all the methods from the sites controller. So here, inside the sites controller, we have all those methods which are responsible to list all the data, to create data and save inside database, which update data to database and finally delete any data from database. So for routes, I will go inside this config folder and let's open routes.php file. And inside this routes.php, let's say that here, I will add let's say API routes. This is route, routes instance, it means routes object. And to call our list API, it means list API where we will we'll list all the students data. So this time we'll use get request type. So to complete the functionality by using get request type, we'll use get method. So routes get and here inside this first value, we need to pass our API route. So it will be let's say list hyphen students. And this will call sites controller and from sites controller, the method will be list students. So I will copy and put it here. I will copy, put it here. Now next we need to call the API. By the help of that, we will post some data. So in that case, we'll use post request type. And here, if I say, let's say add a student, it will call the method called save a student. I will go here from sites controller, we will call save student and this time we have used post method. Now next let's say routes, we will use port method as we can see here. In the same pattern we can pass our value. So here let's say update hyphen student. Next here we will call our sites controller and from sites controller we need to call update student method. And finally, we have one more route for delete student. So put it here. In this case, we'll use delete method. And the route will be, let's say, delete hyphen student. And the method will call called delete student from sites controller. So successfully, now we have registered all the API routes. Now the question is that how to call all these API routes by the help of these routes. So to test our API and the calling process, here we have the Postman tool. So I will open that and make sure that your development server must be started. So I have started our application. Let's copy the URL, it means project URL. Go to Postman, put it here. So from this drop down, we can see there, see that here we have multiple options available. These are request method types. 
So to test our first API that is to list a student, I will select from this drop down is all about get method means get request method and let's copy our route here that is list hyphen students go here forward slash put it here so this is all about our url called project url forward slash list hyphen students using get request type click on send button and here we have some error and this is because actually if you go here inside our env file and let's say that instead of development let's say production save this change go here let's click on send button now as you can see that status equals to true so instead of html if i click on json so status equals to true and message equals to list api called so this is all about using get method now if you go here let's use our second route called add hyphen student using post request type so first of all we need to select from this drop down is all about post method and the route will be something called add hyphen student click on send button instead of selecting html let's click on json and here as you can see that successfully now we are able to call all about our post method let's back to application to test our next method and that will be update hyphen student this route will call using put request type so from this drop down we need to select put method and instead of add hyphen student forward slash it will be update hyphen student click on send button and here you can see that now we are able to call our update student method if we select from this drop down is all about our patch method click on send button as we can see no output and this is because actually for our update student we have bind using put method so once we use let's say patch here patch here if we go here let's click on send button and as we can see that the same method we can call using patch method and finally here we have delete method so i will copy let's undo the changes that will be put method i will copy here go to postman let's remove our update hyphen student and select delete method click on send button now as you can see that we are able to call our delete student method one more concept i would like to discuss here that is all about method spoofing so what is method spoofing method spoofing is a process by the help of that we can change dynamically the request method type so how to do that let's see in action here as we can see that this is all about our delete student route and this route must be called using delete method and this is because inside our routes.php we have configured all about this route will use delete method but what will happen if we select let's say here post method and as we know that post method is not valid for this route let's click on send button as we can see no output so is there any option to change this post method dynamically to delete method so that we can get this output here yes it is possible by using method spoofing concept so what i will do i will go here inside body inside form data and inside this key i will pass underscore method this is a key here and underscore method it's a predefined key and inside this key i will pass the value as delete so dynamically when we click on the send button post request post request type is automatically changed into delete method and once it will be changed then this route will be called and we can see hopefully the output let's click on send button now we can see that we have the exact output but this time we have triggered all about this route using post method but here but here comes the concept of method spoofing so in the same way we can do for put request type so i will select post here if i go here let's copy this update hyphen student 
I will remove this delete hyphen student. Let's click on or uncheck this method. Click on send button. We can see that we don't have any output. But if we go inside form data method and if we change the value from delete to put, so dynamically we are changing the value of method type from post request type to put request type. So once we do that, automatically this method will hit its method and output we can see inside here. Let's click on send button and we can see we are getting the same output what we had used using put method. So successfully, now we have all the concept that is how to create our methods and route configurations for API development processes. So in real time, we'll use all these methods and the code behind inside each of the method inside coming video. This is all about the demonstration that how to configure routes using method types so that in our coming videos, it will be helpful. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.